Hey guys, Canadian Ride 705 here. Now it's important to me that my videos are helpful and educational, at least in some way. So I've redone this video. This is actually the third version of it. Uh, if you've already seen it, you pretty much get what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to make it a little bit better and a little bit easier to follow what, what my main point is. Now, uh, gasoline and octane are what we're talking about. And a lot of people have some misconceptions about octane rating on your gas and what it means. They believe that octane is a chemical in your gas, which is true. Um, they also believe that your octane rating tells you how much of that chemical is in your gas. That is untrue. They believe that high octane gas burns better and also that it cleans out your engine better for whatever reason. Those claims also are not really true. It's possible that they're true, uh, depending on where you get your gasoline from, but the octane rating on your gas actually only means one thing. Now, to understand how a gasoline engine works, I've got this dental syringe here, and I just want to show you really quickly. The plunger on the syringe is just like your piston, and the rest of the syringe is just like the cylinder in your engine. Now, your engine has multiple cylinders. On a motorcycle, it's two. Um, but as it works, that piston has to go out of the cylinder and come back in the exact same distance every time on a gasoline engine. So what happens is, as the cylinder draws out, air and fuel are put into the cylinder by your fuel injection system or your carburetor or whatever. Then the piston comes back in and compresses that air-fuel mixture. Now, an air-fuel mixture is actually volatile and can explode just from compression alone. That's the premise of how a diesel engine works. A diesel engine has no spark and works just based on compressing an air-fuel mixture until it explodes. Now a gasoline engine cannot have that happen because if a gasoline engine, the way that it's built, has an air-fuel mixture explode, it tries to push the piston back out somewhere between where it's uh, fully drawn out and where it's compressing the air-fuel in. The piston has to move that full distance in. So it's pretty much what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. When that happens, it's a very loud banging noise, and because your piston is drawing in and out of that cylinder thousands of times in a minute, uh, it rattles, and it constantly happens if you have what's known as engine knock. Now, engine knock is what happens when your fuel is too volatile for your engine, and it explodes before it's fully compressed. In a gasoline engine, that piston wants to draw in all the way, have that air-fuel mixture at an exact density, and then a spark's provided, which makes it explode. That explosion pushes the piston out, and that's where the energy from your engine comes from. A lot of people understand this basic premise of how a gasoline engine works. I just wanted to include it uh, because it's so important. If you ever experience engine knock, it's a very bad thing. And the reason that engine knock's so bad is just because of how much damage it can do to your engine. So it's very important that you use fuel that won't cause engine knock. Octane rating on your fuel only means one thing. It tells you at what compression level that fuel is going to explode. So for a high performance engine like a sports car or this 2018 Indian Scout Bobber, the compression ratio on the engines because of what the engineers came up with and what they feel works best for a high performance engine, the compression ratio is very high. So that means that the piston compresses your air fuel mixture down very small and there's a danger anytime you do that of your air fuel mixture exploding. On the Indian Scout Bobber it's a compression ratio of 10.7 to 1. On the Indian Scout 60 it's as high as 12 to 1. Now on an older car, I believe the Model T Ford, its compression ratio, just to put it in perspective, was only 3.5 to 1. So depending on what the compression ratio is of your engine and some other factors, the engineers that design it come up with the lowest octane rated level of fuel that you can use in that engine. And then they tell you about it. When you buy the 2018 Indian Scout Bobber, there's a big sticker on the gas tank. It says use 91 octane premium fuel. Um, it's also in the owner's manual. Everywhere that you look up the fuel that you're supposed to use in your particular vehicle, it will tell you what that octane rating means. Now, the important thing to note from everything I'm saying right now is that octane rating only tells you when your fuel is going to explode under pressure. 
that's it. A more volatile fuel isn't necessarily better. Um, a premium fuel which costs more is harder to make, and that's why it's considered a premium fuel. It's put in better engines, but only because they have higher compression ratios. And it doesn't really have anything else to do with the quality of the fuel. The fact that it's premium and that it's a high octane level really only tells you when it explodes under pressure. It's very important information to know, but it doesn't tell you that the fuel is more pure. It doesn't tell you how many detergents are in it. Uh, that is actually decided on by the manufacturers and they have to meet legal minimums. But generally speaking, all fuel down from E85 up to 94 octane have the same amount of detergents in them. So when you go to take your Scout Bobber out or your Indian Scout and you want to fuel it up, really you should be using 91 octane fuel. If you want to do more research on this, Wikipedia has a great page just on octane rating. If you try to search for octane, it will lead you to both. Octane uh, will tell you about the actual chemical itself, which is more interesting to chemists and people that can understand it. But octane rating gets right into everything that has to do with your fuel and how it's rated. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like it and uh, share it on YouTube or wherever.